there, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your week starting November 22nd, 2021. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you're watching your rising sign forecast, your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign, well, that's giving you the less prominent, albeit still significant side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. And if you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme is the moon reversed. And there, this is going to be a thrilling week. Now, thrilling can go either way, but I feel like there is a lot of thrill in this week for you, Virgo people, because there are a lot of veils dropping around you. And I'm seeing a lot of stories a lot of mysteries, and a lot of just long-standing narratives in general starting to go through a massive wrap-up. But what's happening is there's also a bit of an information leak, <laughs> it looks like, throughout all areas of your life. And it could be a bit weird to experience because you're getting a lot of things fleshed out and solved and made transparent where they were not so before. Pay attention to what comes up over the course of this week because all of these truths must come to the surface for revelation and eventual resolution. But this could also prove to be very advantageous to you as well because you may also be finding out where a lot of things that have been going on behind the scenes have been lining up with a lot of your efforts and are now ready to finally move towards a conclusion that is actually serving you. You know, one of the things I talk about with uh, people I'm teaching about readings, it's that, you know, you don't always want to look at astrology or tarot to see the end result. Sometimes things are going on behind the scenes. When I'm talking to somebody after doing a reading with myself and I get some kind of news or something that confirms a reading I did, but the timing seems off, I always ask them, when did you come to that arrangement? When did you make that arrangement? You know, behind the scenes when I wasn't looking. And nine out of ten, time, nine out of ten times, it was the week that I said it was going to happen. It just wasn't revealed. This is one of those weeks where we see where a lot of those circumstances may be going on in a lot of our lives. So pay very close attention. And yeah, maybe even for your own confirmation, ask every once in a while, well, when did that happen? Hmm. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, you do have the Knight of Pentacles upright and a new commitment is coming your way. A new financial commitment is coming your way. In fact, this could be a beautiful step up for you, especially when it comes to getting to work more closely in some kind of collaborative partnership or small group that is already in a place of high power, high caliber, and high talent, and already orienting, oriented in heading the same professional or financial direction as you are. That being said, with the Knight of Pentacles upright, there is, of course, a silent but understandable expectation that everyone be on the same level, equally available and equally committed. So if it is a new job or a new service, a new clientele you're working with, or a, maybe a new uh, career direction you're headed in, just keep in mind that this is something that is going to require a new discipline. This is going to be something that's going to pay you out handsomely, really hook you up, but the expectations are just a little bit higher than maybe what you have been working with recently. But that can always be very refreshing, right? Because we're, we're stepping into a place where a lot of highly capable people and a lot of highly competitive opportunities are abundant. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you do have the Judgment card upright. And with the Judgment card upright, it does look like a lot of you Virgo people are going to have some kind of major narrative or life story or timeline, as it were, come full circle for resolution with uh, either a family situation, and I know, here we go, it's Thanksgiving in the U.S., right? Uh, or possibly something going on with a friendship circle or maybe even a revelation of something that for all intents and purposes we thought was gone or done in the past. But with this and the moon card reversed, it's all coming out. But there is that resolution we spoke of before. With the judgment card upright, this could actually be something that comes with a big reward at the end as well. I'm seeing some big payoff for this or some kind of new world opening up because of this, regardless of how uncomfortable 
or how weird the circumstance is in the moment. When it comes to your challenge this week, you do have the Seven of Cups upright. And when it comes to the Seven of Cups, this is going to be one of those weeks where you really want to pay attention to where it's not a good idea to overcommit yourself too quickly. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, we want to keep our options open, whether it's keeping our options open with jobs, our availability, um, living situations, you know, all of that. Because sometimes the Seven of Cups is a challenge. We may be tempted to make up our minds or lock something down or commit something or make something official prematurely. And if that's happening, you got to make sure you know that, okay, if there is duress making me do this, where is this duress coming from? Am I feeling like I just want to have something locked in so I feel more secure? That might not be good enough. Am I doing this so somebody else feels more secure? That might not feel good enough or that might not be good enough. Or am I doing this because of fear? Am I doing this out of somebody else's fear, peer pressure? None of it's good enough. We want to make sure that we are in a space where we are living and working with intention and that we allow the options that are presenting to fully flesh out. So, you know, we're going to feel inundated, a lot of information overload this week. Make sure that we don't really arrive at any confirmed conclusions on anything until, you know, we get to Sunday or even Monday. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you do have the Queen of Swords upright. And very neat kind of vibe coming from her this week. And I'm feeling with the Queen of Swords, a lot of you are going to notice partners stepping into a closer area of your life where they normally don't have their hands on. They don't normally get involved. It may be that you might notice also partners are really stepping up to help tackle and eliminate Issues that both of you have been living with for quite some time, but they seem to be coming at this with a lot more dedication. They are coming at this with a lot more of that discipline and possibly taking a much more fearless attitude, even going so far as to confront or maybe even make some harsh but fair moves on behalf of you themselves or even the couple maybe even using a firmer hand or a harsher approach than you would use yourself. But with the Queen of Swords upright, this is all about no BS solutions. And you may even notice that partners are really kind of getting tired of a lot of negative status quos that you guys have been living with. And if you're tired of it too, that's great. But I'm feeling your partner may be coming in as a more bad cop to your good cop kind of energy. And this could actually be very, very helpful. And for those of you who are maybe looking for new partners or you are single or available, you may be meeting somebody who can who already has the resources, the know-how, and the intellect to assist you in such a way as well, because we have a firecracker with this Queen of Swords. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.